Hours from now, investigators will search for the body of a missing teenager. Today, two other teens were charged in connection with her murder. CBS 2's Jessica Layton live in Belmar with more. Jessica. Maurice, Sarah Stern's car was found on the Belmar Bridge just above me, ditched in December. Police never found her body, so first thing tomorrow, they'll be searching these waters as a desperate father waits in agony. Two months to the day since his daughter went missing, Michael Stern sat in court, stricken with grief, constantly wiping tears from his eyes as he heard the details of the murder for the first time. Sarah was a good kid. And she didn't deserve this. This is just horrible. Standing outside on his porch, he was soft spoken and clearly heartbroken after learning for sure that his only child would never be coming home. Police say the 19 year old was robbed and strangled before her body was tossed over the Route 35 bridge in Belmar at the beginning of December. Her car found abandoned with the keys still inside. This is the worst thing that can happen to a parent. So imagine if it was your child, it's just, you know, unfathomable. With their families also in court, prosecutors said 19 year old Leah McAtasney stole money from the swimmer and softball player before murdering her. He's accused of then calling his friend, Preston Taylor, to help move and dispose of the body. The three were Facebook friends. Charles Stone is a longtime friend of the Stern family and an attorney. Michael. Up until last week when we spoke, was had hope that his daughter would come back. He just hoped that she ran away for some reason and would come back. Everybody liked this child. So this is just devastating to the family. She's a brilliant kid. We just miss her terribly. It's still not clear tonight exactly how Sarah Stern knew these suspects or how prosecutors are tying them to this murder, what other evidence they have. We do know those dive teams will be back here in the water at 9 a.m. tomorrow. That's the latest live from Belmar, New Jersey tonight. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Is there a dog in here? I heard a dog barking. Got any history on that registered owner? I have a subject that you can call up on the line. I was saying you got a phone call from the phone for us, so I'll stand by. Now this door's open. We're gonna go in here in a minute. Ninety-six year old woman car at the top of the bridge. Husband's wife died of cancer a couple years ago. We don't know if we got a jumper or what. Could have pulled up there and just jumped off the bridge. <laughs> or if not, he's not stupid. He's got a daughter too. Teenage oh she's a teenage she's about, she might be she might be in her late teens now. Maybe driving. Left the car on the bridge? Why would you, again, leave the car on the bridge? Yeah. Been there an hour, at least. It was on the bridge when I went over to go to Windmill. She was red on top? Yeah, I don't know why. It's... Means it's got less than an hour on it. Yeah, I had it on a charger and I've only been there since then. My only concern with going in this house is I think this guy owns a couple of guns. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. Right. <laughs> I want to walk in his house and. He's not the nicest guy either. I don't think you you I'm know him. Be so, yeah, yeah. You've dealt with him, okay? For like um, called out on burrows and stuff. Yeah, he's. I understand he's so why he'd be upset, but he's. always been that way. He used to run the shopping center, the Neptune City Shopping Center. Oh, when yeah? I first started, he was the maintenance guy over there. He oh. ran the shopping center. Said that you heard it. They said they talked to him. They had a bookstore over there, actually. Stationary store. Like a stern.
worry about a dog inside, all that kind of shit. And there's no phone number I don't know about a disabled daughter. vehicle. Uh, I want to make a phone call. 35, Go ahead. calls back find out if his father's in the area the front door of the house is open I might be making an entry into the house see if we can locate somebody inside I'm gonna, make a, I'm gonna call Neptune and see what the deal with the car was had keys in it or what Hey, it's Heinz from Neptune City. Not much. This disabled that you have on the bridge, the uh, that you just you just impounded and disabled off the bridge. Oh, okay. I'm um, trying to find out if uh, were the keys in that thing. Did it look like it was disabled? We're at the. What we're dealing with is it's registered to a 96 year old. There's a teenager that's supposed to be driving it. It's parked on top of that bridge. We're getting no answer at the house. I have an open door at the house. I might uh, go inside and make sure everything is kosher here. I, don't, I want to make sure we don't have a jumper. So if, if the keys were in it or if any, you know. Weren't. They were in the car. Alright, we're going to go in this house and see if we can wake somebody up inside there, uh, and I'll let you know what goes on with that. But uh, I'm, I'm hoping we don't have a jumper here. <laughs> Alright, I'll let you know. I'll get, we're going to go in now. I'll give you a couple minutes. I'll give you a call back. Alright, bye. Alright, we're going to go in there. We're going to make ourselves very well known yep. by yelling and screaming. We're going to bang on walls. We're going to watch out for whatever dog that might be. And be prepared for it. case the dog comes or? You know what kind of dog he has? I have no idea. Should I get the snare? And be prepared for if, if Mike is home, yeah, for him pissed. to be pissed. Although I don't think he's home. There's a couple cars. You know, there's a, there's a, a missing car at least. There's two missing cars. He may be out of state. But who knows? Well, we should bang on fucking windows all around the house. I didn't realize it was such a shithole. Yeah, Is there a gate? Back. We're out here with the county, I guess they have the, the mosquito thing. Oh, the pool? It's got the pool with the water uh, sitting there. The gate's right here. Let's go see if we can knock in some windows on the back. Watch for dog shit. Wow, I had no 
idea he lived like this. You got somebody in there? Well, there's one good thing. It's a big dog in a cage. There's a big dog in a cage. Some kind of a hound mix. But he's in a cage. I'm pretty sure we're going to run into Mike in there. I don't know if he's a drinker or not. I saw some bottles myself, so... See what we wind up with here. Put your camera on, right? Yeah. Right? Yep, just mount yourself real well. Neptune Sea Police! Hello? Hello? Neptune Sea Police! Hello? Neptune Sea Police! Hello? Back here? Let's check down here first. Dog's, dog's in a cage right back there. Hello? Hello? It's the police department. Hello? Anybody home? Announce yourself, please. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Police department. Anybody here? Nothing so far. Hello? Police department. That door's locked. That's not good. Hello? That door's locked? That one locked door. Police department. 3558, you okay? We're 10 we're checking the house. I gotta see. Uh, uncle's name, by any chance? The resident is Mike Stern. I'm not sure who else you're looking for as far as uncle goes. I'm trying to locate Mike. Is anybody able to speak with him? Call us back shortly. Uh, Deputy did also locate the key for that vehicle in the ignition. My street sign. Ten four. Trying to locate the registered owner. There's nobody in the house so far. Hello? I guess the grandmother's not here. That is daughter. Wait, the grandmother's the one in Florida? You would think that's the daughter's room, right? This one, no, that's the daughter's room, yeah. right? This, this would be, uh, I don't know if that would be... Mike's room? Watch this off. Yeah. Got a light in here. This would either be grandma or Mike's room. Probably Mike. Grandma's, right? Or do it. Or would this be the wife? His wife passed away a couple of years ago. Yeah. Unless he didn't change anything. Oh, look at all that over there. That's got to be grandma's room. So that's Mike's room. Right? So that's got to be dad's room up there. And he's in Florida, so that room's locked. Makes sense. And this. Those are men's clothes there. I don't know. But the dog's in a cage. So, somebody put the dog in a cage. Hello? Police department. Hello, buddy. Good doggy. Hey, he's not a pup. <laughs> Thank you.
Hello, police department. This house is packed. Wow, this house is jammed packed. I'm talking about a fire hazard. Hello. Well, I guess Neptune's going to have to uh, figure out what their mindset of this kid is. You don't see dog treats anywhere, dude. Right, right there. Oh, maybe. I'm looking for the doggy. Ooh, a treat for the doggy. A treat for the good doggy. Look at a good doggy. Right, you eat? Yeah, I'll stick it through the cage. There you go. I know, you don't take food from strangers, but... Got no problem eating it. Well. I think he was working on all that. Well, Mom's not here. Her Grandma's not here, and Dad's not here. Here's a key. We gotta lock the house. I'm sure one of the neighbors. These guys are all real tight with the neighbors. That one will lock their house. Good. These guys are tight with the neighbors. Kill your light. <laughs> Stuck in the safest place of all. Under the bed. All right, let me call Neptune. The moment we found. Jose, it's Brad from Neptune City. Hey, we went through the whole house. There is nobody home. Oh, there's a. Uh, it's registered to a 96-year-old. I have no idea where she's at. I think Joe. They said Joe Milano's a family member. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to reach out to him and figure if who what numbers he has. But there is zero. Nobody home. There's one locked bedroom, and I believe that's. Uh, the father guy who owns the house, Mike Stern, and he's in Florida, supposedly. I was told that they made contact with somebody, but and the registered owner was not driving the car, but I'm going to find out. What, what's the address there that you're at? Uh, hang on here. Seventy-eight Ridge Terrace. All right. We went through the entire house. Uh, backyard, everything, there's absolutely nobody home. There's one dog, and a dog is in the cage. Well, the front door was unlocked. It wasn't open. It was just the house wasn't locked up. Yeah. 
I locked it on our way out because I found a key at the front, right right by the door. I found a key that would unlock it, so I locked it on the way out. If we if whoever comes home doesn't have a key, I can get them in. But uh, I don't think the rest of the house is unlocked. You got to see the inside of this house. It's like a hoarder's haven. Yeah, it's there's pretty much pathways to get around, and some of them are blocked even. So. All right, so I don't know how where, how far you're gonna take it, but uh, there's nobody home. Or or the or the daughter, yeah. Well, he supposedly is in Florida, so it would be. It could be the it could be the daughter or the mother, because the mother wasn't home either. So. I don't know who the registered owner. You know what the registered owner is doing either. All right, let us know if you need anything else, if we got to go back to the house for anything. Yeah, I'll reach out. All right. All right, bro. Bye. We didn't find any notes either, right? Didn't find any suicide notes either. All right, I'm going to uh, stop my recording now. Now this house has some big ass dogs. My camera's on, so. And they're not caged. I can hear them barking, so. Can you see if there's a stairway to the left there or not? All the way to the left. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think I see the stairs back there on the wall. I think it's like the wall. Come on, when your dogs are barking like that, you get the fuck up, don't you? That's the only job a dog has in today's society is to fucking bark when you hear something. There's one. Somebody's coming down. There's two. There he is. Oh, that's the Now watch. She won't be smart enough to not open the door without these fucking dogs locked up. We don't have to worry about these dogs coming out, do we? Sorry. Is Liam home? Oh. Oh, Liam's. Is Liam home? He's around the corner. What was that? 11 Street. That's where he's staying now. Oh, he's staying over there? Okay? No, we're looking for a friend of his that, that's possibly a missing person, and she supposedly hangs out with Sarah him. Does he, Stern. Sarah Stern, does he hang out with her? Yes, Sarah's a very good family. He's at 12 Holly? 11 Holly Street. 11 Holly? He might be over there. Yeah, 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 of course. Can you call Liam? Of course. If you don't mind? Technically, she's not right now. But. This is a husband and wife. I think they're in the middle of the board. They own the house directly behind them. I guess the husband's living there now. Oh, really? The husband and wife used to fight each other. Oh, yeah? Hey, buddy. all talk and all muscle too you big son of a bitch look at that dog look at that dog this is a neighbor I think a stern
What can we do? What was that? Yeah, we're trying to find Sarah. Well, she's she's supposedly calling Liam to see if Sarah's over there. So. The dog is in the cage at the house. Okay. Um, she brought over today a bin. Can I bring my mother's stuff to your house? Your car, you know, Carla dog. Yeah, I know. I know Carla. And so she brought a bin of stuff a, of her mother's to your house? Taped over, and it's in my kitchen. I was out. I said, yes, I'll put it in the cubby. And, um,. I tried texting her, and nothing. How long has Carla been gone now? Six, eight years, maybe ten years. No. Um, <coughs> it's eleven, right? Right yep. behind us. Yep, right behind me. Is he? Is your husband living there? No, he's in Allenhurst. Okay, well, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Uh, knock. See if we can wake them up over there. Is that Robin? Yeah. We're not saying she's missing. Okay, yeah. We're saying yeah. we, we haven't been able to find her yet, and there's a little concern about her. So, okay. all right. So, th have you told anybody else that information? I didn't tell Michael yet. No, I'm going to tell the Neptune Police Department what's what's going on with it because this is technically Neptune's. Well, it's kind of a mixture of both of ours. Yeah. She lives in our town, and yeah. well, how much do you know so far? Michael just called me. I. Sarah's like I, my what mindset was she in today when she drove? You didn't see. Did anybody in your family talk to her this morning? Today? She texted me. She said, uh, "Can I bring some stuff over?" For, it's my mother's. I said, "Sure." She brings stuff over. She tries to clean the house out a little bit for mm -hmm. Lil, and um, brings like garbage that she doesn't want Michael to see it into my yard. And um, I have brought her to the hospital. That's twice. my next question. Is she depressed? Is she? You, yeah, is, I think she's depressed. Is she mm -hmm. not suicidal in any way? Do you think? I don't know. All right, we're gonna go see if we can find that. The stuff that she dropped off is it like? Personal stuff of her mother's, like it would be her personal belongings and all, all her memorabilia. It's been and, and taped. It's all taped off. All right, we're gonna uh, continue this search then. Liam's on the other block. We're gonna go over there now. Who? Sarah's phone. No one's answering it. County from 3558. Five, I'll be out at 11 Holly. It's related to this call. You can put us both units out there and I'll put it. Liam, you Liam? You got yeah, a second? Can I come in and talk to you real quick? Yeah, no problem, officer. Is uh, Sarah here by chance? 
No. When was the last time you talked to her? I was with her today. What time? Uh, before I went to work. So it was earlier today? Yeah. When was the last time you had any kind of contact at all with her? Um. I'll turn some light on if you don't mind. I mean, we went to get food today. And you went to work over time? Uh, 4.30. Okay, so you haven't talked to her since 4.30? Do you no. have a cell phone you can reach out to it, to her on? I actually haven't been able to find my cell phone. Any yeah, idea where it's at? calling it all day. Right, so you haven't been able to talk to you? You don't know where your cell phone is? No. I have mine on me, so. All right. Keep looking for your cell phone, man, because uh, we're trying to find Sarah. What's her, what was her mindset last time you talked to her? I just know she's been trying to get away. She's been telling me she's going to Canada. Trying to get away, okay. Canada, she's been real depressed lately. Her dad is crazy. Okay, and then she's dealing with the loss of her mother. Her dad's in yeah. Florida right now, right? Her dad, yeah. He's coming back today, I guess. I don't know what time it is. Where's the grandma? Grandma's actually sick. Where's she's, your grandma at right now? She's she, not at the house. She's staying with, him, with some family member. Okay. Grandma's coming home right now. She's at... Uh, Sharon's. Okay. Where's Sharon live? I thought she was staying with uh, Shirley's. Uh, Shirley's, I'm sorry. Um, but no, Sharon, Shirley's bringing Grandma back now. Okay. Uh, well, are they going to be able to get into the house? Because I know that they're. Uh, we can get into the there house. There isn't a key. We can get I into the house. Okay. The house was open earlier. We were already in the house, and I have a key to the house. So. Yeah. Okay. All right, keep looking for your phone to see if there's any yeah. messages or anything. All right? Thank you. And all th these yeah, things well, these things you sitting around here? Let us know. All right, call us up. Yeah, let us know. About all this. Yeah, that's, that's questionable behavior, man. If yeah. you can uh, <laughs> if you can maybe reach out to some friends, maybe hit our message on yeah. social media. I definitely will. Start reaching out to somebody, see if anybody's talked to her or yeah. if they when they talked to her, what her mindset was and all that, all right? I'm planning on getting a phone as soon as I wake <laughs> okay. up. And, uh, yeah, we spoke, we spoke as to your mom before. You hear anything, call the Neptune yeah. City or Neptune Township Police Department and let okay. us know. Thank you. He doesn't know where his cell phone is, so. She would never leave without telling me she's going to Canada. Never. Yeah. never. Here's, 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 I'll bring you up to speed on what we have so far. Her car was found with nobody in it. We're trying to find out why her car was where it was and make sure she's all right. The car's registered to Grandma, who's 96. Yeah, I know. Initially, we tried to make sure Grandma was all right. We know Grandma's staying with a neighbor now, and now we're trying to find out, make sure Sarah's all right. That's that's pretty much where we're at, and nobody's able to get a hold of Sarah right now. They're pinging her phone, trying to locate her on her phone and all that, and I don't think they're having any, any success on it. So, well, I don't she, know when Mike's was, coming home, but it's a tough relationship between him and listen, her, right? I have taken the kid to the emergency room. Um, Has she ever done anything crisis-wise, or...? Anything? Did she take any kind of meds? No. Does no. it take any kind of any uh, Prozac, anything like that? No, no. I've taken her to the dentist for her wisdom teeth. I've gotten her contacts. Um, gynecologist I've taken to twice. Um, when she was in the emergency room, I thought it was her appendix. So the doctor, and he was in AC, Michael, and I stayed with her. Mike have a girlfriend now or not? Yes. He does? Okay. It doesn't really matter, but is that why you spend a lot of time with a girlfriend? Is that why he's, he's in Florida and all that? Home. Okay. Right, well, our main thing is trying to find Sarah. If you hear anything, Neptune City or Neptune Township, we're yeah. both looking for her. Okay. All right? I'm going to, uh, you have a key to the house? Yeah. Because I found a key. We were in the house. Went through the entire house. Dog is in the cage. Yeah. Buddy. Nobody's in there. On our way out, I found a key on the, on the uh, counter right by the door. And I was able to lock the door, uh -huh. so the key's under the mat and right by the door. there's one in the, uh, in the mailbox, in the mailbox there? Box. And there's one under the mat now. I stuck one under the mat. So you have key to get in. We don't, we don't have a need to get in the house right now unless... Uh, now we don't have a need to get in the house as of right now, but I'm going to make a couple phone calls right now and see to what level we're going to take this. Let us know if you hear anything, please.
Sergeant Hines, Neptune City. Okay. And we got some more information for you on this uh, missing person. Not missing person, this, uh, this motorist assist that you guys have. <laughs> that's turning into a missing person. Uh, I don't know who's involved in what, but uh, I just talked to a neighbor. Do you guys want the information I have, or do you want me to give it to Belmar? Or? All right. Hey, it's Hines over Neptune City. We just went to uh, Bradley Street and talked to the boyfriend's mother, and then we went around the corner and talked to the boyfriend himself. Uh, the boyfriend has not talked to her or heard from her since 4.30 this afternoon, sometime this afternoon before he went to work. He lost his cell phone, so he has no idea if she's contacted him since then. The, the neighbor that lives across the street from her got a text from her at 4 30 this afternoon she dropped her this girl's mother died uh i don't know how many years ago she died of cancer i don't know how many years ago she got a really bad relationship with her father very de very depressed uh in and out of the hospital here and there but she dropped off a uh, box of all of her mother's her important memorabilia of her mother's off to the neighbor today at 4 30 all wrapped up nice in a real tight taped up box and uh that's out of out of the ordinary for her to drop off all of her mother's uh you know, important trinkets and all that, 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 the memories of her mother, basically she dropped the memories of her mother off to her neighbor today at 4.30. So I don't know if, uh, how far you guys are going with this, but you, you, all right, I'll call Belmar, give them that info, but uh, I don't know if we have a, a possible jumper here or not, so, all right, I'll call Belmar then. Bye. You guys are fucking worthless. Why the fuck did Belmar take this over? Sounds like a bunch of shizit to me. Bunch of shiz it to me.
Sergeant Hines, Neptune City, how are you? Hey, I need to speak with somebody about this uh, car on the bridge that you guys found. I don't know if you have it as a missing person, what you guys have it listed as right now. Hey, Sergeant Hines, Neptune City. Uh, what do you guys have this thing listed as, this car on a bridge? Is it a missing person? Is it... Yeah, I just talked to Neptune and they said you guys took it over. Well, that, that car's been out there two hours at least. They've been working on this. Great, because what I, I was just calling you guys, I just called them and gave them a bunch of information, and they acted like they didn't want to even hear it. But uh, this girl at 4.30 this afternoon, her mother died a couple years ago. She's been very depressed. Her father's got a new relationship. She's not getting along with her father. There's all kinds of emotional issues with her. 4.30 this afternoon, she took a box of uh, all of her personal memorabilia of her mother, over to the neighbor's house. It was all taped up real tight and nice. She brought it over to her mother, over to her neighbor's house, and left it with the neighbor. Now the neighbor thinks that's extremely odd. And this same neighbor's taking her to the hospital. The same neighbor's like a mother to her. She said she's a, you know, she's got a lot of issues going on. She's having a hard time dealing with her dad with a new relationship and all that. So, we got depression. We got all kinds of stuff dealing with here, and uh, we got a car on top of our bridge. Man, this father's. For lack of a better way of saying it. Since I went to work, got home from work, got drunk with my buddy, and then I had a knock on the door at four o'clock. This okay. is so. So this yesterday is afternoon, completely now is two o'clock. Is what I think it was like. Yeah, so between one and two, we went to Taco Bell. Right. Let me ask you, did you have your phone around then? I did actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was. It wasn't until I went to work that I realized I didn't have it on me. Okay. All right. Um, what was she wearing yesterday? The last time you saw her. Um, wearing a. I. She was wearing a gray sweatshirt. I couldn't tell you the pants or shoes or anything. She could have been wearing jeans, but she have uh, any, anything on that sweatshirt, like a, uh, any kind of logo. On I, any, I think it was thing? just a gray zipper Zip up. up. Yeah, I know. When I got to her house at one or two o'clock, she was just wearing a red T-shirt and uh, black, uh, black a pair of black like uh, running running shorts or something. Okay. What do you think she put on jeans maybe? Yeah, she, jeans, she went up and got dressed before we went to Taco Bell. I went to the, the we, neighbor's house at, at one point. I, I couldn't even tell you what time that was. but Which neighbor? Uh, the Drapers. Were you with her when you went over there? Yeah. She was with you? We had, uh, she had a bunch of stuff. Over the past two weeks, I mean, I don't know how long her dad's been gone, but her dad's a hoarder, if you guys... Mm -hmm. uh, Having, I don't know. I've never no. known so I have no idea. They, he has a house in uh, Avon. It's a huge mansion, like two blocks away from the beach, mm -hmm. just full to the ceiling with boxes and boxes okay. of stuff. The whole house. Okay, so bear with me here. Yeah. So you were with her yesterday afternoon. You went to Draper's house with her. Yeah. Did you help her carry stuff over to Draper's house? Yeah. That's what. What was point it is. that you carried over there? Um, how I'm, much? I'm not, I, I know that we had, we had one big gray container. Okay. And I actually have a few of these in my basement right now. Because of hers? Of hers, yeah. If you guys want to go through those, she, uh, she's just been trying to get stuff out of the house away from her dad over the past what, week or you whatever. Know, you, know, you, you seem to have a pretty good relationship. What, what's, the, what's her reasoning for wanting to get the stuff out of her father's place? Um, 
I mean, I know that her dad's taken money from her in the past. Okay. Uh, I think her mom was supposed to leave her money or something. I know she definitely has a lot of trust issues with her dad. Okay. So I've just been trying to help her out with that. I've I've been friends with her since first grade, so we have a pretty good right. friendship. Um, is this the first? I mean, she's moved some stuff into your basement. You said. Yeah. Is this the first you've helped her move it across the street to Draper's house? Yeah, first time. This is the only time she's brought anything over there that you know of. Yeah, okay. but I've we've been moving stuff from the Avon house to her Neptune City house back and forth over the past week. Okay. But she taking stuff out of that Neptune City house and putting it in your basement, we'll say. My basement. Putting it Draper's in basement. Draper's house was the first, yesterday was the first time you know of them putting it in Draper's house, yeah. correct? I also know that she was going to bring it to a, uh, some family members. Uh, it might have been uh, Cindy or something. I'm not too sure about a name, mm -hmm. but I, I remember she said she wanted to go go look through the stuff at the family member's house without me. So I let her go do that. That was a few days ago. Did she tell you what she wanted to look through? No. I know that she found a safe with some of her uh, grandparents, like, rare coins and stuff. That safe is in the container in the drapery. Did you help her pack Did you help her pack that container? I helped her pack that, yeah. Okay. Um, what else was in that container, if you don't mind me asking? I'm, I'm not too sure. I don't remember. I mean, you remember putting a safe in there. You don't remember yeah. anything else that jumped out at you? Nothing really any other out. Any other jewelry? Did you notice any coins? Uh, no. I mean... Family family heirloom thing, you know, the family mementos, anything like that? I knew she had coins and stuff in the safe. Okay. But besides in the safe, I think it was just a bunch of random junk in that container. Okay. But obviously random junk that had some meaning to her. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Um, she seems but to... What, what, what you were, I'm sorry, mom yeah. said something. What about... you? Were, I don't know if you talked to the detective about the relationship between her and dad recently. Yeah. What's going on? Just give me what's going on with her. Like, how's she been acting lately? Um, the same? Different? No. Liam, you've known her for since first grade, you said. Yeah. Has she, has she been different than normal lately? Well... And for how long? In the past... She has had a tendency to have self-destructive suicidal behavior. I actually know that... How long ago? Years ago. And what was it that she would it be self-destructive and suicidal? Um, Sorry. It was over... I'm stepping on you. Over something her dad did. I'm not too sure because it, it was... I think it was my freshman year, sophomore year of high school. Mm -hmm. I'm in my second year of college right now. So four or five years ago. But mm -hmm. I, I remember being with my girlfriend. She was completely obsessed with my girlfriend. And something happened with her dad and my girlfriend had to leave to go take care of her. Because she was saying, you don't come here right now, I'm going to kill myself. So she's, she's made comments like that in the past. Yeah. Do you, do you know if she's ever done anything like, like maybe like cutting or I, anything like physical that she actually, actually did harm herself? I have no memory of her like actually that. hurting herself. Right. And, I don't um, know what you're talking about. What it. we were talking about before, I mean, nothing you, like you're saying is going to get you in trouble, but yeah. you know, do you know if she, does she use alcohol? Does she use any kind of drugs? And listen, like I said, um, man, it's not going to get her in trouble. It's not going to get you in trouble. We just kind of need to know what her, maybe her mindset was like. Well, I've, I've drank, I've smoked with her in the past. Okay. Marijuana, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay. We've, I mean. How long ago? When was the last against. time, bro? Yeah, no, it's, like I said. Uh, not for nothing. We're not, we're not jamming. No. Yeah, we're not we need, jamming. Listen, all I need <laughs> is your, we need your help finding yeah, yeah. her right now. I, I, There's a lot of things going on. Like yeah. I said to you before, we have a lot of resources out there and we need to find her. And yeah. make sure she's safe and okay. Yeah. And this is why I'm, I'm really hammering this home to you, Liam. You're yeah. young. I want to make sure you get how important this yeah. is. This yeah. young girl is off the grid all of a sudden, uh -huh. and nobody knows why. And you were basically the last person that had any contact I, with I her. I completely understand that. So I'll, we're trying to get a little time frame, more of a time frame. Yeah. I, I just want to let you guys know that I'm, I'm intending and in, uh, pursuing a career in law enforcement. Yeah, we've too. talked about it. Yeah. Stop smoking pot. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually did. I actually did. But the last time that, Yo, that we've actually... Sorry, I had to go there. <laughs> we drank um, was uh, some point in 
November. I'm not even worried about that. I want to. Uh, I want to get back on the time frame yeah, of the really last time you okay. spoke. Now, like so, yeah. within uh, the past 24, 48 no, hours. No, 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 that's fine. Mm-hmm. So yesterday, you guys run to Taco Bell. You dropped stuff off at the Drapers. Did you, mm-hmm. you went to Taco Bell first, or went to the Drapers? Uh, Taco Bell first, then to the Drapers. Drapers, and then you left. Then to her house. Then to her house. Hung out. Right. I left. What time was that around? Uh, 4:45. 4:45. Yeah. And then you worked till when? I worked until. 10 o'clock. Okay. I was supposed to work until midnight, but I got off at 10 o'clock. Um, and you just came back here? Yeah, I went back there. And, uh, you got a couple of beers or whatever. Yeah. Again, don't care. It's good for you. Uh, I wish I was this late to have a couple of beers, but I wasn't. Um, who was with you? My roommate. Just your roommate? Yeah. So she didn't come back? No. Did she didn't text you or call you or nothing last night? I mean, I, I didn't have my phone, oh, so phone I, I wish I could tell you. Wait, when, 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 when was the last time you had your phone? That you remember? Uh, I mean, in honestly, the car with her? Honestly, in the car with her. Whose car? Uh, she was driving. I remember using my phone with her. It was her car? Yeah. She drove to Taco Bell. Okay. Um, what Taco well, Bell to go? You're. Up. We're going. You know what I'm going next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just told him five minutes before you guys showed up. About Sarah, he couldn't even get a SIM card in his phone. So if you know, he might be able to think better too. Mom, it's, it's no, fine. no, no, no. Yeah, I want to give him whatever no, yeah, no, 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 need to get out of me. No, no, no. I could use some water. Okay, if I'll you could you do that. My throat is still um, dry. What what Taco Bell is that? The one over here in in Neptune by the uh, Wawa, the Wawa, McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, and you, you, so what time was that roughly? Oh man, it it must have. I would say two o'clock. Two ish? Yeah. She drove? She did drive. Her car or your car? Her car. Her car. Yeah, my car's been having a lot of problems lately. Um. Within, you talked about how she had some destructive and suicidal thoughts or, you know, harming her. Did she ever say anything to you? How, if she was, I mean, what she was going to do if she was ever going to hurt herself, man? You know. Did she ever have that small talk with you? Listen, I'm going to. Do never, this. I'm going to do that. She never did that with me. She never said it to but you. But over the past few months, she's been telling me, excuse me, how uh, bad her relationship with her father is, and how she just needs to get out of here. Why was it bad? What made it bad? Fighting. Arguing, fighting. Arguing, fighting constantly. Okay. Thank you, Mark. I, nothing. I mean, arguing, fighting. When you say arguing, fighting, just verbal arguments over everything in the uh, world. Honestly, I think you don't it know. was all just bullshit. Just arguing for the sake of arguing. Because the other day when the key broke, he called her four times and they had the same exact conversation, same argument, like they never had it, over and over again. Okay. And I was. she had the phone on speaker. I was right there. That was a couple weeks ago? Yeah. And that's when she kind of decided, I can't do this anymore? She say anything to you about where she might, where she was going to head off to? If she, I mean, yesterday, when you guys left each other yesterday, how did how did that conversation end? Is what I'm trying to get at. Uh, All right, Sarah, talk to you later. I got to go to work, or I that mean, was really? Much it. Okay, I'm heading to Canada. Out. I mean, <laughs> did she give you any of that? I know Nightmare before Elm Street was on. We were hanging out. I said, uh, I got to go to work. I'll see you later. I'm going to be late. I left. Uh, and you were in her car. Yeah. My car was at her house, though. I drove to her house. Mm-hmm. Uh, Helped her move that stuff. Uh, yeah. You guys jumped in her car, went to Taco Bell. Well, reverse order. Drove there, went to Taco Bell, came back, and then... Then moved the stuff. Then then moved. Oh, okay, I got you. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yep. Um, so she kind of just said, all right, I'll talk to you, or just I'll give you a call tomorrow, or nothing. nothing wrong. Yeah. Um... Honestly, this Canada thing could just be her telling me without telling me, because... Did she ever say where in Canada, or do you know where she's no, gone? No, I mean, I know... she's been there before, is that correct? I know she's been there before. I don't know if it was Montreal. She, uh, she's obsessed with these YouTubers, and she goes to, like, conventions. 
I know she's been. I don't know how many. I'm not. I'm not quick on this. Uh, it's new to me. Yeah. It's, 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 so you I see mean, YouTube? What are they? People that like to put post stuff on YouTube? Yeah, just well, people. They have a channel and they post videos. That's all. Yeah. Pretty much and it. Then, they have a great, a big following. A big following. So, like, how did, how does one? You said she goes to the events. Like, what kind of events are they? Like, uh, I think they're just like uh, just panels where they sit down and ask. Oh. I don't know too much about it. They yeah, could be no. shows. I'm not really good on the uh, new technology. Yeah. Yeah. That YouTube thing's all new to me. I haven't uh, yeah. the bloggers and all that. Did you mentioned okay. that there was any of those coming up. Um, last one I heard about, there was one in San Diego. San Diego. I don't know if she's she went or not, but I know that she bought a ticket. When was that? Do you remember? Months ago. Okay. She yeah. said it was coming up, right? Yeah. And there was that was months ago. She said yeah. it was coming up. Yeah, that's why. I and have she no went idea. to that San Diego, or do you think it was she, coming up? Like she's going soon. The only one I know about is the uh, the Canada one. But that's the one that she went to. That you know. Yeah, that was pretty recent. Okay. And I know that she said that she has friends in Canada. Okay. That if she were to go up there and uh, live up there, she could have roommates. Yeah, roommates. I don't know if she has internet friends or whatever. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, I just, she, I, that was gonna be my next question. Like, you know, obviously she's quick on the, uh, on the internet and yeah. stuff like that. Does she, does she have any, like, these like, internet chats or anything like that that you know of or anybody I, she's talked about? Like, I know related that she, to that? I know that she has, um, she has video called people in the past. She's only talked about it with me. I couldn't tell you any yeah. names or That's anything, fine. but... That's fine. part of me. Liam, the, the thing on your YouTube conventions or whatever, you don't have any idea what they are? Like um, like what the what the YouTube site... Grace. What is it? Grace. G-R-A-C-E? Grace or H, Gray? Yeah, Grace. H-E-L-B. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's Hellbig or Hellberg. I'm not too sure. Chris Helberg. She's a very famous okay. celebrity. And did she has her own YouTube, like, I'm talking about, I'm talking about Sarah now. Oh. Does Sarah have her own YouTube, like, you name? Does she post stuff up? It's, I don't know if she has a channel, but I know it's her inspiration. She's, she's this Chris Helberg is her inspiration? She's always talked about. But you don't know, not even her own channel. Does she have her own, like, login? For YouTube that I you would know. I honestly have no idea, gonna, but I know in the past she's told me. That Give me a second. I'm gonna go look something up for you. Okay. John, I'm trying to. I I was with her when she was having that conversation about the key. I actually went to Home Depot to try to get a spare key with her, and it wouldn't work. But she he called her three or four times and didn't remember it. He, he was asking the same questions like they never had the conversation. Does, uh, does, he, does he abuse like alcohol or something? Like that? I I have no idea. I know they have alcohol in the house, yeah. but I now um anything you tell me is not going to get yourself in trouble or anything. We're just trying yeah. to find her. As yeah, no. Was that his phone? We found his phone or no? No, no. You don't still, still don't know where your phone is. No, I I some officers stopped by my house last night uh-huh. and I let them know I didn't have the phone and I was planning on buying a new Where'd one. Where'd you lose it at? Morning. Did you lose it or you don't? I, when did you realize it was missing it. if you don't mind me asking, John? I, no, I realized it was missing when I went, when I got to work. Which was yesterday afternoon? Yesterday afternoon, uh, I, roughly around 4.45. Okay. I ran home from work, tore my house apart. I actually left work a couple times last night trying to find my phone oh. and I, is it now when somebody calls the phone? Does it ring? It rings. Okay, good. It's on. It's on. I, okay. All right, Liam. I'm gonna. I gotta throw something in here. Okay. Yeah. You know what's going on here? You know why we're standing here talking to you? I yeah. I have a pretty good idea. No, no, no. Do you know why we're standing here talking to you? Do you have any idea where Sarah is? I have. Listen, no this is this is. I'm gonna throw this out to you. Bear with me, John, because no, uh, Sergeant Isaacs wanted me to make sure we made something very clear here. Yeah. The resources that are out there right now looking for her. The amount of manpower. We have people swimming in the Shark River in this cold weather, cold water, everything else. We have boats. We have helicopters. Dude, if you know anything about where this girl is or have had any contact with her, you need to let us know. Believe me. And exactly what it was that you had spoken to her about yesterday afternoon before you went your way and she went her way, 
uh-huh. we need you need to yeah, open up and let this know. detective know everything, yeah. man. Yeah. Because be there are people all over the place looking for this young lady. Yeah, Listen, we're not we're not looking to bring her back here. We're not looking to get her in trouble. But yeah, we like he said, we have a ton of resources out there, and and people, you know, guys are in that that the current of that water. It's fucked. I'm a cold. lifeguard. I I mean, it it's, was warm during know, the summer, but we, we had a similar situation to this with the mm-hmm. scuba diver or yeah. something. So you know, over the summer. Yeah. And I remember the manpower that was out searching yeah, for him. So um. So what are you saying essentially? He's like, like, so we're, man, we're not looking to get you in trouble. We're not even looking to get her in trouble. Uh, so we want to find her and make sure she's safe and okay. I mean, I just pulled it up. I'm going to be honest with you. I just pulled it up on the car. Yeah. And I'm watching this and I'm going, okay, there's one of two things going on with this woman. First of all, she's high, yeah. which is a really good possibility. Yeah. And she's talking about making ugly Christmas sweaters with, with bells on it and shit like that. Does that sound familiar? Is that the what? Is that basically what Sarah's following around? Uh, Hell big. H-E-L-B-I-G, yeah. you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah. They sit in front of a camera doing a little podcast type of thing of her talking about stupid shit? That's exactly what they do. Okay, so that was the right page. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, I guess I'm getting too old, man. No, I'm just... No, I have a 14-year-old. Thank you. You guys just aren't interested in this weird... No, well, I am now because if that's going to help us try and figure out where the hell yeah. she's at, yeah, I'm interested in it big time. Um, again, you know, Liam, we've said it a couple times. I'm going to throw it at you one more time, dude. Yeah. We just want to make sure she's okay. Nobody's going to get in any trouble here. We, trust me, it doesn't matter to us what you're doing behind the closed doors. We just got to make sure that Sarah's all right. And if you've got any other information, you got to throw it out at us so we can go a little further, you know? So that's, you know... Do the best we can. You gonna be around? You didn't activate that phone yet, did you? Um, no, I didn't. I would have to activate. It. I just start charging it. Okay. Cause it's switching the number over. You're trying to switch his number onto that one. Yeah. Can you hold off on that. Yeah. Can you hold off on that? Yeah. We want to see yeah, if we, we can find his phone. Oh, sure, sure. I'm I'm gonna be going to work. Tree place. Um, no. Brennan Steakhouse. Okay. Around um, two thirty, three o'clock. Um, okay. I mean, I, should I just give you guys a call and find out when I can activate that phone? And we'll let, we'll yeah, let mom. I'll call, you, I'll call your mom. Yeah, okay, we'll let mom know. Go ahead. We're going to try to ping that phone. Maybe she might have it. Okay. You were saying she doesn't have a password to get access to because that was one of the things I asked. Okay, it doesn't matter? Okay. No, no, we're just, no. I'm, we're, we're kind of Take throwing darts at the wall right now. Quite honestly, both of us are putting our heads together, throwing darts at the wall, trying to figure out. What's what we are asking to hold off on activating yeah. that phone because you're calling his phone and it's still ringing and yeah. then going to voicemail, mm-hmm. which means it's not dead right. and it's not turned off. Right. 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 So we're going to do with you have his phone number. Do we get yeah. his phone number? Yeah, okay. okay. Um, you said two o'clock you're going um, ish, two thirty ish or whenever Kevin three. tells you to be at work. Yeah. <laughs> Sometime before three. Sometime before three. All right. Yeah. Go in the back okay. kitchen if you're talking. Nah, we won't. We won't go through the front door. I know how to get in the back door. We do that. No, I would never do that to you. All right, we'll see. If listen, if you come up with anything else, yeah, mom's got detective's number. You got to call us. If there's any way that she contacts you in any way that you two may make contact, if you think about something that you guys talked about that might be important that you're not thinking about and you're telling us now. You got to call us and let us know. Like I told you again, there's resources and people out here right now risking themselves yep. to find her. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, I'm just you want to do this job now? You put yourself in our shoes and what us and all the everybody else is going through. Definitely. All right. There's a lot of people out here trying to find this young lady, and you seem to be the last person that had any contact with her. Yeah. And that's you know that's why we're here spending the time with you, man. All right. Um, yeah, just if, if you hear something, just uh, you got my cell, so just call me, and then uh, I'll, I'll give you a chat once uh, we get the okay to ping it, and it turns out to be nothing, and then you got to go ahead and access that. But uh, I'll give you a chat, you know. All right, guys, take care. Give me, give me two seconds. One second.